the only thing I know they are saying in this one is because I haven't really, really paid attention to the lyrics Can't before you guys me. come for me. Can't control, control me. me and Allah Ala Kori. And it. are you mad? Sorry, and what, what does Allah Ala Kori mean? Oh, really? <laughs> you're going to sleep here, OJ. Because uh -uh. You, have, you have decided to funkify Allah Kori. Oh, you are going to sleep here. here. Okay, Allah Kori. What does it mean? Stubborn. I'm still not going to tell you. <laughs> Arika, don't tell. Okay. Stubborn. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, yes, Friday is all up here from here, and we are set to make it ridiculously amazing. Thank God it's Friday, people, and welcome to East Splash. Very correct. <laughs> very, very correct. We are back for the final edition of the show this week. Mm -hmm. We know the Friday mood is always special, so we have an exciting package for you. Exactly. All our Friday beats are on the queue this afternoon. Now, the weekend just got started right here, and we're going to be... The, the front, this is the forerunner mm. of this whole thing, yes, because... <laughs> don't debunk this. I don't care about you. <laughs> we are the ones in charge oh, of making sure that your weekend oh, is she. about to be oh, a lituation. Oh, so she. now you have to be a part of the conversation. So let me calm down. Join the conversation on socials. We are at TVC Connect using the hashtag eSplash on TVC. It is your girl, your favorite TV girl with dimples. Yeah. And my name is Arike. She has stolen your line. No, that's not her Which line. One? TV girl. No, she uses TV. I've girl. always used TV. She, she stole your line one day, Sharon. And I'm just. No, they that. told me they okay, reported yeah. to me. Don't worry. <laughs> well, it's your host with the most, like the hostess with the most. It's your girlfriend next door. It's your girl, the jewel in the crown. My name is Honey Pots People. Welcome. And of course, this title is still able, ladies and gentlemen. It is Roy Ines's planets. I go by the name King OJ. Or you could call me OJ, that's what it is. Yes, what we have planned for you today, this fabulous Friday. There's entertainment menus coming up very soon. Then we rhyme where we take you through a quick history lesson of today in entertainment history. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there is Tweetville, where I'll be taking you through some Tweetville humor and savagery. All right, we have two artists perform live on today's performance Friday edition. Then there will be Daily Top 5, where we'll be finding out five meals associated with outings. You better look forward to this. Later, um, one of us will uh, show appreciation on the Chew It Up segment. Then we'll bring you a recap of all that you might have missed in the news. Then we'll take ourselves a request for the week and we'll wrap things up with our Friday Chit Chat segment. So let's get started, shall we? Yes. All right, we'll be back with the news. Let's go. <laughs> For me. When I say no. baby share you there for me, I'm no. talking to you. No. As I just nothing to you. do with you. No. No. Okay, I was talking no. to my baby, my, my baby. baby. Eh? So who is the baby? None of your business. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, welcome back. Now it's time for entertainment news. And first up, we have this very interesting story. Now, my phone was hacked, Jada Pollock. There seems to be a different twist to the domestic allegation leveled against Nigerian superstar Wizkid by his manager and baby mama, Jada Pollock. Jada has come out to say her phone was hacked and her Instagram page was compromised, claiming that the statement was not written by her. She took to her Instagram story saying, and I quote, my phone was hacked in the late hours of Monday evening and my Instagram account was compromised. I can guarantee that statement written was not by my hand. I can only apologize for any confusion this may have caused. In quotes, I have never recovered my account. I have now, I have now recovered my account. Jada Pollock's statement is coming days after a post she accused Whiskey of domestic abuse was shared on her page, even though the post was later deleted. It had already gone viral, sparking off a lot of conversation, and it has just <sighs> been crazy. So the conversation has changed that, okay, this did not happen. Is somebody trying to do some damage control, trying to, exactly. trying to like, uh, you know, salvage the situation. Mm -hmm. well, are you people concluding already? <sighs> what if truly uh, Instagram page was hacked? Oh, wow. So much of a coincidence that it got hacked and the person that hacked the, the page um, posted that and deleted it immediately. I'm a bit confused. You know, you recover, when you recover your account, that's what you tend to do. You delete things that the your accounts must have done. The didn't even stay for as long as one hour. Okay. It wasn't even up to 30 minutes. But, you know, it's whiskey now. The moment he posts, people, is, this is, uh, um, I mean, it's Jada now. Yeah. She would have people that are following whiskey, that love whiskey, that are following her because mm -hmm. of whiskey. So one or two people, you know, just saw oh, it and then did a screenshot and sent it around. So we already saw the thing. Don't come and be telling us, we're not stupid. You can't tell so us. Are you concluding? Because me, I'm concluding. Oh, that's that. Some that it really happened. That the domestic it, violence. Yeah. So maybe she's just trying to do the whole damage control and oh, because everything has happened now, it's all in, it's all a mess. Let, let me tell you, babe. I can I can I can do this. You know I'm your manager. I got you. I'm just gonna say that my my account was hacked. 
You know, that's the story they all tell us. We never can tell. Oh. We never mm. can tell. It's true. <laughs> it, it could be that it is damage control and it could be that it really happened. That they so, really hacked up. I mean, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Like, you know that we will always get to the root of this matter. Like, exactly. People, matter people, what, so people, I mean. people now started digging deep. Um, in people investigating. They dug deep and noticed that anytime Jada puts up a post on social media, she always have a signature on it. Okay, and this so particular, this did this not particular have post did not have any signature on See, it. See, some people are very smart. She knows these things. So she's like, you know, people are even not going to believe because, you know, usually I put my signature. So this one, I just put it there and I took it. I'm just saying, but, uh, I, I mean, uh, fingers crossed. Our eyes are going to be peeled. Okay, so let's move on. Beyonce grabs six Emmy nominations for Homecoming. Now, Beyonce's Homecoming has been nominated in six categories of the 2019 Emmys, and one of them was the iconic, uh, you know, costumes she performed in Homecoming, which is a 2019 American concert film about American singer Beyonce, and our performance at the 2018 Coachella was written, directed, and executive produced by Beyonce herself. The concert film was nominated for Outstanding Variety, Special Pre-Record outstanding music direction outstanding directing outstanding writing outstanding production design and outstanding costumes for variety social media has however been divided as many have congratulated her for the nominations while some others feel homecoming isn't a movie or a tv series and shouldn't have been nominated but like i don't know People shot movies, people shot series and documentaries. Documentaries. People were expecting it's well, it's Beyonce. No, it's not even about Beyonce. <sighs> I would say that this is a mini I documentary. Watched, yeah. Of what goes on when you're about to perform on, on stage. stage. For some like for and a, the stage an event that big. Itself. Yeah. And you know how you have to pay attention to the costume, to the choreography, to everything. So I don't think that people should have issues with it because Documentaries get nominated as well. So I'm looking at this as a documentary. Yes, because a lot of work actually went down. You exactly. Know? So people are just thinking that it is not one of those things that just a musical, it's just a music video. It's just a music video. No, it could, it should actually be a proper a TV series yeah, or you're talking about a proper so. movie. But <laughs> they're failing to know that everything is just art. Yes, And true, they're true putting that. a lot of work. Exactly. And I do totally agree that if they're going to be nominating it, if it's a, it was fantastically done and yeah, they're going to be nominating it, this then she deserves it deserves uh, exactly it. all right moving on to our final story lauren london's son to inherit one million dollars from nipsey Osso's estate yes lauren london expect the son um she shared with a late rapper nipsey Osso to inherit a ton of money from the late rapper's estate so she's making sure she's legally protected according to sources london filed to establish guardianship of a two-year-old um, son cross ashgedom as he's anticipated to inherit approximately one million dollars at the close of nimsey Hussle's estate the actress writes that she's in, she's the person taking care of the minor child and will look out for his best interest as he receives the lucrative inheritance from his deceased father she also wants to be cross guardian and that she can participate in legal matters involving nipsey's estate lauren london also least Nipsey's 10-year-old daughter Imani as Cross's relative. So we all know the, mm -hmm, the, the, story. Regular, the regular saga that when somebody passes away, mm -hmm. people now start fighting to yeah. inherit, and this is a child that they have together. Yes, there have been situations about um, them trying to take take the child, child from, from her, her. Um, Nipsey's family yeah, that yeah. you can't take care, of, take the care of the child. And now there's money involved, so she wants to just sit on it, that this is my child with this guy. Exactly. Nothing you guys would do. Yes, people are related to the late rapper, Yupa's family, but this is my child, and I want to sit on this legal matter yeah. that involves money, definitely. Exactly, absolutely. I, I'm, I, I mean, if I were the one, I would do the same thing, because first of all, I'm even worried. Like he's two year old, ah, two years old. Oh, it's very, he's a minor. And so, anything so that's can why happen. That's why like, a I feel should like be there. they should, they should, they should also. Aside just um um, what's that thing? Aside Lauren, I feel like they should even just look for some sort of security to take care of those children because. Their father was killed. Yeah. You don't want the same thing happening to the children. Um, Apart from this whole family money thing involved, you still, regardless, you know no, how I these people always so. have like no, an extension it's not Nigeria. of whatever, whatever. <laughs> it's That's it's why. It, no, their father, their father wasn't people. killed because of money. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying because now of money. that it now involves money, like money is involved, people would go crazy. Trust me. I think, I think they got everything sorted. I, I, the culprit I, I, has been arrested. Yeah, so I think that everything is just sorted. Don't worry, everybody will be fine last, last. Let's not go to Mabalao. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 stop!
Babalao. Anyways, yes, it's a wrap on the news. Today on Celebrity Birthday, we have our Nollywood superstar. Yes, today is her birthday. Her name is Kit Enshaw. Happy birthday, Kit Happy Enshaw. birthday, Kit Happy Enshaw. Happy birthday, July people are great. Wow. And of course, yes. and of if course. If you like, go and climb the pole. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, music superstar Tosi Ajibade, a.k.a. Yeah. Mr. Easy. Easy, boy, easy. Today is Mr. Easy's birthday. Uh, lucky guy. Yeah, everybody. Don't ask me why I said so. Why did you say so? He's a lucky guy. Does he did, have... Did you see the... A child coming soon? The hotel the lab post. They went to Italy for one hour for ice cream. So, <laughs> at least if the angel of mobilization and deployment did not deploy you to... He is a famous Otedola, guy. A shah on that side of the world. So, wow. yeah, lucky guy. Lucky guy. <laughs> and happy birthday to all of you celebrating your birthday on this special day. Yes. Bad energy, I'll wait, I'll wait. So why did they have to pick that bad energy away, like um, the whiskey and... Uh... You see Africans now, you know you people are always all about bad energy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Malo, yeah. Malo, yeah. Malo. <laughs> uh, Guys. It's non-African, where do you answer? Wow. Focus on, <laughs> focus on me. Focus on me. Let's Welcome back, guys. <laughs> it is Swivy where we bring you all the fun and savage stuff from the world of social media. Let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. That's the soundtrack, official soundtrack. By me. And for tomorrow you'll forget. Any <laughs> pause, <laughs> <laughs> please, just be there. Thank you. Hey, when I check my account balance in public, I turn my brightness down. Come on, by disgrace. <laughs> See, yeah. I am on this I'm table. Like, I'm feeling dizzy. Now, <laughs> no, 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 no. I feel attacked. <laughs> Honestly speaking, I feel attacked because what happens is that. Actually, when you want to do transfer, so people want to say, ah, madam, your PS is not working. Ah, okay, let me do transfer. With my phone. I first of all turn it down because, me now, in my mind, I can have 20K <laughs> and it's 1 million to me. But somebody that is standing next to me can have like 3 billion in their account. So if when you're opening 20K, person just look at me, look at my clothes, look at everything. <laughs> So I just need to turn it down. Please don't disgrace me. Let me just do the transfer. Do you know how some peace. people even cover the ATM when they go to work? <laughs> like, nobody must see this, you know. I need to can, show you can this. I start, like... <laughs> <laughs> so that you don't know how what much is it is. Maybe it is 2,000 yeah. When I want to withdraw 1K, ah, you need to see me. <laughs> and then, you, know, one K. Like, you don't have any money on this. Like, order. You know, that order. When you go to order, uh, yeah. you know, you press five, one, zero, five zero, zero. zero. <laughs> you know, I want them to do. See, times are hard. Before, when I want to withdraw one I'll be like this. But now, I'll just like, I'll not be explaining to people that are not talking to me. I just want to see it for two gates. <laughs> I don't Nobody asked me. I, I won't be saying this to myself. I just, it's just Togate. Right I don't now. think so. I just had. I think, I think it's just for Togate. I won't be like, I really want to I'm more than that. Moving <laughs> <laughs> on. When I was dating my ex, she was about to leave me, and I knelt down and begged her to make her second boyfriend, to make her second boyfriend instead of completely leaving me for someone else. She said, Stand up. I'll try. I got the hell up and stupidly said, Thank you. Most foolish thing you have ever done in your life. Oh, have you ever been on this table? Because so, this one, so, I just... So the issue about this situation right now, my guy, you were even the second boyfriend before, or th maybe third or fourth, Seth. And you're still Be begging to retain your yeah. position. Nigerian girls. No, you know the Nigerian thing, guys. he just cannot live Nigerian with... girls he that can... have several boyfriends. Ni Nigerian guys <laughs> that can I be very like, funny too. I feel like this is love. Shepard Chinedu, this is love because you don't, you just don't want her to go away. Uh -huh. You just want to still be in her life. And be second that's, boyfriend. That's amazing. And be second boyfriend. Me. It doesn't you matter. You might even be third. See, we have, seen, we have seen cases of side chicks becoming main chick. Anything can happen. It's the grace oh, of God. So it was, ah, it was also his way, it was also his way to number one. Oh, really? Guys, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> can someone push me out to fall in love? See, if you know that you're not prone to fall in love naturally, you need to be pushed. Like OJ, I gotta push you. OJ, so, you so you're not emotional. Love. Like you don't have emotions, you don't have blood running in your system. Have you seen OJ you cry before? I do, I do. I have you seen OJ cry I, I've seen before. him go red. Like you know that he's from Spain. <laughs> but I've, I've seen him go red. Fall in love, what, what is happen there when you enter? See, guys, this is what happens when you say you want to fall in love. When you fall in love, yeah. you can eat your head, you can eat any part of your body and you try you know, get messed up, uh. you know. Don't fall in love. Grow in love. Uh, 
Relationship from experience. Relationship experts. Relationship experts. When you see me outside, call me auntie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. They say, you had a crush on him till he messaged back, hey, please, before I even read this thing, I saw this tweet, another thing died because I was in this situation one time. Ah, I was crushing on this uncle. That's that the uncle was going to send me DM. You know those shorthand texts? God. That thing irritates me. And then, but this is this anti situation. I, I can't wait, <laughs> wait to <laughs> see, Odo. see Odo, you, you, next, neck, like one is neck, <laughs> two is next, weak, I'm weak. I'll crush the guy. So he was just trying to say, I can't wait to see you next week, but you don't go, I, Odo. Can't. Ah, but it's, 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 it's trying to wax lyrical now. That's what it is, though. I can't wait to see you next week. See, I will first of all do a screenshot, send it to that blog on Instagram that is very popular, and then I will block you. What, what is this? Bro, you just broke my heart into not two, twice. But, is like, it... but can this be managed? <laughs> what can be managed, bro? See, people, I'm, see, my, I'm very petty. You grow, you grow, you grow. What was the most, most petty thing that made you break up with someone? And I feel like is the guy is always switching, um, like I, I appreciate you for AM. And that thing is to irk my existence. Well, you, can like, grow, you can grow with this I person. I corrected this, this uncle person. too many times. Then I'll not burn children tomorrow. My children will not be saying, mommy, I'm, I'm. <laughs> No, you will just go out and then, or maybe you're late and then the husband would have to help the children with the assignments. Huh. And then when you come back, you will have a situation. Huh. Wow. I'm not doing I'm sorry, please. <laughs> Don't just write it. I, letter I is I. Why do you not want to put three letters? It's not even like I'm trying to do shorter. Please hold it. Talk to the hand farm. Oh my goodness. So I saw this picture. This is a tiny rat. Mm -hmm. And then someone's feet is right next to you. And I said, Will you step on this for two billion dollars? See, this is me right here. <laughs> Have you not listened to AFLS song? Oh yeah, tota time all one. Tota time all two. Oh yeah, tota time all three. Oh yeah, tota time all four. A minute tota time all left. That's right. That's how we match the animal. Two billion dollar? What? Are we? I mean, we will grind on it like you this. Can't, you shouldn't kill a creature. Creature. Yeah, that's your, God's creation. Yes. Why do you kill cockroach? You like cannot even stand cockroach. That, I you, see you jump. That's why you leave the cockroach. I saw a gen jump for cockroach. Where? Are you kidding? Where? In the office upstairs. Me. There's cockroach in your office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see you. In your office. You, you, your office. OJ boots food. Hey! That's a lie. Listen. And I put that spot. But that's a lie. That's a lie. Oh, that's, that's a lie. I really care. Don't make that savage. Yeah. Oh my God, that's a big lie. <laughs> okay, lie. Lie that in the corridor you don't have. How yeah, do you even cook corridor. stuff in your head like this? You, I don't yeah. care. She's just. I'm out for you. Oh <laughs> my God. Thanks so much, Arika, for bringing this to us. That was a handful, you must say. All right. Well, we are moving on, definitely. And we have our first artist performance. Stay mm -hmm. here with us. It is still East Splash. Okay, guys. Yes, interesting, interesting stuff. And yes, you already saw him. You saw him perform. Mm -hmm. And he's the award-winning guitarist and artist. So we've got our friend Femi Leia in the building. Yay! Why, why, why didn't you carry your guitar? Like, you see, you uh, as you can see... It's seeing you without your guitar, by the way. I know, but people have to get used to it because the guitar is just a part of me. There are other parts that people need to know that I'm a producer, well, I'm a keyboard player. Yes, I am. But I can play the piano also. I can play the bass. I can play the drums. Okay. You know, so... so I, drums. Everybody, exactly. Everybody needs to know, like, there's so much to me than just being, being a guitarist. A guitarist. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the last time you were here, yeah. we're talking about a car. Which was last year. Which was last year. And the set was not this, yeah. you know. Yeah. But yeah. This so what do you think is, about our set? This set is booming. Please, <laughs> give me three. Give it up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah, we're talking about Femi Leye, the album. Yeah. Now you've. You've done so many albums before this one, By including the album last year. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at you and I'm beefy because ah, I was dropping an album that some artists two years, three years, four years, you know, before they drop one, you, you are just giving us back, back to back. back. So tell us, what is Family the album about? Okay, as 
well, the name presides. It's a self-titled yeah, it's, it's self <laughs> album. But also, the songs on the album are very, very matured songs. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm talking about A Pregnant Woman, for example. Alaboye. 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 Do you understand? Alaboye is a very, very deep song, because I realized that no one has ever actually spoken about that, you know, about women trying to get pregnant or women being pregnant, you know, being apprehensive, you know. Yeah. And uh, I needed to really talk about that particular topic. That was the reason why I wrote that song. Ara. Yeah. Yeah, ARA, you know, which is a little bit political and very societal. I've never really dealt with issues like that before. Mm. I spoke Japan about love. Episodes. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I spoke about Ife, <laughs> like <laughs> extensively. In fact, there's another song on the album called The Love Song, yeah. like a continuation to Ife. So it's a very matured album. And it took a while to make because I needed to actually experience some things for myself in life mm. before I could put the pen down and then start writing. And then you wrote them from your own point of view. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. I'm wondering okay. why. So, Femi, uh, you know, there is this talk about uh, people trying to measure success. Yeah. Okay, so people think that sometimes when they don't see a lot of, um, if they don't see artists yep. on social media and everywhere uh, posting stuff, this is what Hi, I ate this morning <laughs> and all that, they're they are not successful, they're yeah. not doing anything. Mm. Now, the other day I saw that you posted that you had a private gig mm. and you had the most amazing people. You know, they were very happy, they responded well yeah. to your show. Yeah. Uh, okay, so tell us about this. Does this actually say anything that says people can have private gigs or they are not <laughs> successful still because they're not posting every Everything, now and then? You yeah. see, we, uh, we're in an age where people, I think people feel like when you put things out there, that is where you are making it. Mm. Actually, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's you true. know, I got married. You know, not a lot of people knew that, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a married man and all that, you know. And I, I just like, you know, the privacy of my life, you know. But doing a gig like that, the, the youngest person at that gig was 50. Wow. wow. So we had from 50 to 70. So you can imagine people like that, they are very critical about music. And they can't listen to the kind of music that... Bass, 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 bass. <laughs> bass, bass music, you know? <laughs> right now, they could not, but I'm just going to be 30 this year. Genocide. So I'm still relatively young. But for me to be in front of people like... And they were like about 100 or 150 of them. And the, the videos on my Instagram, they were going down. That was at like around 11 p.m. Mm. Wow. So I was, I was taking them back old school and giving them my music, other people's music and stuff like that. So it is possible to do music and be successful and not shout about it. Mm. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. So I, I, I believe in living low key, but also sometimes you celebrate your own success. Not in a very braggy way, but just for people that feel like, so if you oh, buy this is a not car, would you post it? I have a car. I, when I bought it, I did not post it. <laughs> I moved into my house. I did not post it. No, but hey! people think I live under the bridge. I don't live under the bridge. I live somewhere nice. I did not post it. So I, I just, I believe that, you know, moderation is key. Okay, you know? talking about basketballs, um, what do you think the acceptance of live music is right now mm -hmm. in this generation? It's getting better. Mm -hmm. It was terrible before. before. Don't let you move like <laughs> it was terrible before. But shout out to everyone that you know always insists that people play live. You know, people are starting to see that you want to experience your favorite artist live, not yeah. see them mime over you see Trap the, uh, Trap. DJ. Yeah. And it's easy to do that, you know, you can do that. But for me as a person and for other musicians, you know, Abraimo, you have Bears and all these other great guys, they want to give you new versions of the songs live. If I perform as go my band, it's not gonna sound like you just heard it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna True. sound bigger with horns and stuff like that, you know. So I feel like it's better. It, it, sh it shows that the artists can actually express themselves better as opposed to just jump on the song. Okay, so minutes. talking about the whole live band thing, you know that um, from what I heard, yeah. I asked a couple of artists and they're like, it's not as if we just want to mime over these songs because mm. most artists that will tell you that, look, my standard is to perform with a band, mm. they will well, not yeah. exactly yeah. call you because the company, if, for instance, if you're to go and um, perform in Abuja, they'll have to pay for your flight band, ticket, your all band, your band yeah, guys, yeah. they will take your manager. They will, so it's, it's, for them, it's cost effective when they just get one guy that can just well, play, do too. this thing. So how do you think that affects people that do live music? Well, it does affect because you don't get a lot of bookings. You know, but then you have to understand why you are doing what you are doing. You know, my policy is, my management is here. My policy is I don't perform without a band. It is not possible. I'm not going to do it. The worst I could do is just carry my guitar and perform like that. But not performing live, you know, is as and now. So, of course, you have promoters that say, oh, just come and come and play with CDs. If you're a real musician, you stand your ground. You cannot see Femi Kuti perform without his band, or mm. Sheon Kuti, or Asha. Mm -hmm. like, what are you talking about? Yeah. You know, they have to perform with mm. their band because that's actually where they can express themselves. And for people that are saying that, hey, come with the band, well, it's too bad. But people mm. that actually do this for the love of the game, you want to really express yourself. And also, you should realize that 
the band that you're bringing on board, you're also paying them. So mm. you are creating jobs. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. If you look at it from that perspective that other people's lifestyle are attached to you, yeah. you want them to win as you're winning too. So it would be selfish of me to go and jump on the stage and sit by myself and perform on a big stage where I can have like five, six people mm. and we can actually vibe together. together. You can't see a Bruno Mars perform by himself. And you everybody perform. goes home happy. Everybody goes home happy and paid. And paid. So it's, it's very, it's very part important. part of the happiness. Yeah, it's part of the happiness. Are you still part of Adekunle Gold's band, that band? No, no, I, I, yeah. I left late last year. Why? And because of Femme the album. I had to Why is back. it that I asked this question? Okay, tell us. So, uh, well, when I joined the band initially, uh, there was another guitarist. Of, and I was doing my concert. That was in 2017. Okay. Yeah. And he called me. I've known Adekunle Gold for about 25 years okay. before mm. the fame. We are families okay. are family yeah, friends, yeah. so we grew up together. So he called me like, they, they had to fill up that spot. And I was about to do my own concert in Lagos and he wanted to do his own concert in London. London. So it was the same month. Oh. I just said yes. So we just started. So there was no conversation of join the band and everything just kind of went. But I realized that I could only do it for a year. Okay. So I did it for a year. And uh, coincidentally, we are going to be in New York at the same time next month. Oh. So I'm going to do different things. Perform. No, I'm, I'm, oh. I'm, going, I'm going on tour. He's also going to be on tour. But oh, thankfully, wow. we're going to be in the same state at the same time. So I'm going to perform with him. Oh. In, that, that'll be the first time in months. Fantastic. You know, so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. So that means there's no bad blood there. Oh, no, no, no. no. Right here, that. My brother for life. Exactly. Brother for life. Yeah. So let me lay out the album. What does that on this project, though? So uh, I, I, I featured artists that are not popular, popular but are incredible there's a singer from dublin called Ellen Gray. she did the love uh, song with yeah, me she's yeah. an amazing singer songwriter there's another guy who is a femi, femi niger femi. who is a medical oh, doctor yeah. actually <laughs> in kent but an amazing singer songwriter that i featured on ara and there's this new band i don't know whether you guys have heard them they are incredible they're called the cavemen so i featured them on a song well. called mm -hmm. being Dues, an i life song you yeah, know yeah, yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> you're already feeling the vibe yeah, really so yeah. how do we follow up with all of this for people that don't know how to reach out to you Femi Lea, Femi.Lea on Instagram, Femi Lea on Twitter, on Google service Femi Lea. So just follow Femi, Femi Lea everywhere. Femi Lea and together. everywhere you can get music from, you know, just follow me. I have all my content online. So. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for coming, Femi. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so, definitely, we'll look out for your album. And of course, we wish you all the best. Thank you very definitely. much. So ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap on the first half of the show. Still to come, we have Entertainment News Recap, another artist performance, selfie request, and of course, our Friday Chit Chats, where you get a chance to call in and share your thoughts with us. The numbers we're showing on your screen right yeah. about. Anyways, yes, you can also tweet at us at TVC Connect using the hashtag eSplash on TVC. We'll see you guys on the one o'clock hour. Keep it locked. <laughs> yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That was Mr. P featuring in your love one more night. One more night, yes. Mm. Uh, one more night. Wow, I would have said Guagarada. <laughs> <laughs> because they were saying Wagalada. Okay, I, I like the fact that Siniola put in her best, you know, at every performance, every feature, every, yeah. I mean, she's always putting in her best. Yeah, With that dance, know. like singing yeah. and dancing at the same time, then you're not losing your breath. That is what you're easy. used to. It's not easy. And I saw a video, went, before the, um, they shot the video, I saw a video of her and um, Mr. P. She was actually the one that told Mr. P how to do the Zanku yeah, rap part. Yeah, what do I yeah. do? She was like, yeah. She was. No, yes. Yes. We teach Mr. P but how really? to do the Zanku. That is a dancer. Yes. Yeah, he's a yes, dancer. No, but it doesn't mean that you know but, how to do it. I saw it. the video too. I, I saw, saw the video. It was on my Instagram. It's it's just possible that maybe it was not just thinking about it. There are some yeah. things, but then you just get it immediately. She teaches you. Yeah. Okay, well, welcome back, Sha. You don't agree. <laughs> wait, wait, Jerry, you have trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, so far, we've brought you, you know, the news, Rewind, Treat, View, and Artist Performance, and Daily Top 5 now. It's time to chew it off, okay? So, our Daily Top 5, we're going to actually still bring you, so you just have to, you know, wait for that. So, we're going to be chewing it off in a minute or less. So, one of us will tell you, or tell all of us, what um, she's grateful, or he's grateful for. Happy for. It's not me. I'm grateful. But... I'm okay. the happy one. Happy birdie. <laughs> okay, so what am I happy for? I'm, I'm just happy and thankful for uh, the spirit of discernment. Eh? Yes. So it's forming deep. <laughs> yes, yes. Because for every time, I don't know, there's just something about me. Whenever I want to do something and I don't feel like... There's, there's no drive from within. I don't do it. I just, I go with my spirit. I'm very spiritual, so I, I just go with my spirit and everything. And... Every time I just get saved from one, you know, I say I dodged a bullet kind of situation. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna, you know, do this business with someone, and for some weird reason, 
Whenever they call for meetings and everything, I'll just be dragging. I'm not, when it comes to work, I'm always, oh, this one, if they call me, I'm like, okay, I'll just, sometimes I'll cancel mm. without excuses and everything. I'll just, I was just very unserious, kind of, which was weird for me. But eventually, my friend that put her money into the business called me this morning to say, hello, I got scammed. Is that those Ponzi scheme? No, not, no, she proper business. Like, what, the guy was supposed to partner with um, my friend and I. So it was legit. Wow. But I was just always dragging and she would call me and be parrying like, what's wrong with you now? You know, I was supposed to have a meeting with this guy. Yes. I was supposed to do this, but for some weird reason, I was just always holding back. I do not know why. And this is something that's supposed to be exciting. Yeah, true. But I didn't feel that way. And at the end of the day, it turned out to so be she this. she needs scapegoat. Yeah. Oh. I feel bad for you, baby girl, but I know you come out of it. It's just a feel. So now you have money saved now, Abby. Ah, we thank the Lord. So lunch on you today. If I slap you, I'm going to talk like Baba Chia. You know what I mean? Like, every time I say lunch on you, you'll be She will be running away. Today, lunch on you, whether you like it or yes. How much do you even want to spend I'm there? I'm in my studio. Come and beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now it's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news, the news we brought you so far. Yes, mm. and first off, we told you that Jada says to us that my phone was hacked. Beyonce grabbed six Emmy nominations for Homecoming. And of course, we talked about um, Lauren London's son to inherit $1 million from Nipsey Hussle's estate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on a break now. And when we come back, it will be time for our Daily Top 5. Don't go nowhere. It is time for our Daily Top 5. And today we are talking five meals associated with outings. Now, we always look forward to this particular meal. So when we go for outings, it is as bad as not concentrating sometimes until they are served. <laughs> Without further ado, let's talk about this meals that make some of us lose our own trainings. Yes, at outings. We're going to start with Okorbi. Yeah. <laughs> let's start with this popular Igbo traditional delicacy always served as a side food or dessert. Okorbi is prepared from spiced cow leg soaked in flavored sauce of utazi leaves, mixed spices and palm oil. Now it is also served with pepper and onions. You are likely or you would likely find them uh, well served as an evening food in few restaurants and some local bars. All right, now, so, no, how I'm do hungry. you like your ukobi? No, I'm yeah. hungry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the moment she said ukobi, and I saw the picture, my stomach goes, there's a rumble in my tummy, though. <laughs> but you know the painful part about the ukobi? What you know says? how, where they serve it? Yeah. So that you, thing is cheating. It's cheating. It's cheating. They so need to... At the end of the day, you now find out that you have, like, five pieces of... Uh, whatever Go in it, like, cow leg. You, but I think it's a lot of that... technique to even put that thing inside that small, you, small container. You, 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 about you, that you, thing you, and you think you have a lot. I didn't eat one, two, three. I did until like, um, I think last year. Eh? I, I honestly didn't used to eat it because I'm like, anything that just looks, I'm like, ew, ew, I don't want. But my brother was like, see, you are dolly. And then they brought it. I was like, what was they say cow leg? I tasted the first one. I was like, the second one. I took the second one. I said, but you don't like it. I said, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, a is going in. And then by the time I was done, when I got down, I thought that the thing was it too was deep. It was deep inside. I, yeah. I was like, please, what's going on? Is that all? What's going on? I'm like, this is, this is just it's nonsense. How can you do this? This is cheating. I wanted to swap. My mother said, you don't tell human rights activists. On top of something that you don't even eat, I said, some, from that time. You started eating it. Back to mm. back. A car is going back. in, leaf is coming out. Where you done, ma? Wow. Wait up. <laughs> Stand like waiting already. I'm going to have it today. By the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Number two on the list is palm wine. Now, this one, if you know me, you know me well. Well, palm wine is unarguably one of the drinks that is found in many bars and most and the most popular in the world. Most people come out in multitudes just to take the sweet, tasty, non-alcoholic drink. To even make it sweeter, some take it in gourds. Like... These days, some parties are incomplete without it. You know, you get pami for day. Yes, no. Is that pami? Like we know the, the party, usual. This after party, is that, yeah. is that pami? And they the sell usual, it like alcohol, calabash. Alcohol, the but... one calabash is the one that I love the most. Because there's, I don't know, but there's something about the calabash that just, it, it ices yeah. <laughs> drinks. It gives this flavor. It gives, not even flavor. It makes it cold in a certain way. Like if you pour it out the, um, the keg and you put it in that calabash. <sighs> People that know me, they know that I can go anywhere for... Palm wine. But the sad, anyway, the, the sad part about palm wine right now is that some places where you get palm wine, it's not like Forget. that original palm wine. Like, like I used to know somebody in those days that no. we used to wait for the person to come from the tree. 
Like uh, we're waiting for you. Come and sample. Like ye as yellow cake, from the tree. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's <laughs> forget. Let's forget. Third one, and here we've got pepper soup. Yes, Nigerian pepper soup is among the nation's favorite dishes due to its spicy flavor and the variety of meat, fish, or chicken that can be used to cook it. You just can't help yourself when it is being served. Like it's be pepper soup for you know food sake, and it's always served not uh, hot. It is always served hot. And steaming, yes. Which, which, which is your favorite, fish pepper soup or meat pepper soup or chicken Depends pepper soup? Depends on fish. Goat's meat and then I like fish. Uh, I like catfish, but I do not take catfish often because the cholesterol in that catfish, eh? So it I is always like people. just once in a while for me. I don't eat catfish to start with. So yeah, yeah. I like the um, cooker fish one and they are sorted, assorted. Hey, yeah, that's just talking about food right now. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just hungry. <laughs> Let's just move on to our number four chicken and chips. Yes, this food, uh, fast food has become a delicacy in Nigeria as it is served at parties and restaurants as appetizer. So enjoy this mouth watering meal. You can get um, ketchup, tomato sauce, or even stew, and voila, you will be great. Hmm. Chicken and chips. Chicken and chips. There's another song, chicken and chips. Girls. Chicken chicken and chips. Chicken girls. Chicken <laughs> Because, really? because when they are rich at that time, when they want to go out, ah, uh, please, I want to go to a place that they eat chicken and chips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why close your mouth? Sorry, I, I had to lick your secret out. Me, my secret. <laughs> One more. She, when I told Johnny for that time, I asked for She said I this thing. Okay, moving on. Number five on the list. Aso is. Just number five. Now, Aso is a Yoruba delicacy that you will always see in the small chop section at every Owambe. It is barbecued goat meat with mm. lots of pepper. Jesus. It is classified as Nigerian small chop and served at parties and other joints as an appetizer. See, you can't, hey, finger licking foods with it. Just once you put it there, at first sight, you'll be tempted to use your hands, even if you're served with. Cutlery. <laughs> you shall lose your own training. <laughs> See, I, I no, let me not I'm say anything about right it. Now. We this let me never talk about it, but let's just take a break now. I will be back with our next performer. <laughs> That's all we have for your talk daily <laughs> top five. Mama Africa, yes, ma cha. Me can understand what going on in your nation and country, so. Ask them, come in and know. Chu! Hey! What's up, one in the second tree? What's up, one in the second nation? Ask them one more time. What's up, one in the second tree? Come in and know. What's up, one in the second nation? What a fake one, what a fake one. Man and woman can't get no food to eat. What a fake one, what a fake one. Are the people, are they my running free murder? What a fake one. What a big one, are the children in my holla free mama? What a one in this your country. Hey, hey, what a one in this your nation. Ask them one more time, what a one in this your country. Come me not know, what a one in this your nation. Sawalale, sawalale, la de le. Sawalale, sawalale, la de le. What a fake one, what a fake one. Teacher and student in a sexual attraction. What a fake one, what a fake one. Youths them are running out of money material. What a fake one, what a fake one. Are they children of them a holla free mother? What a fake one, what a fake one. No drug addict in a this year society. We say we want to take you back to the good old days, good old days. Hey, hey. We want to tell you something. Our rise, oh come patrol. It's time to use our voice. Nigeria's call, we must obey to serve our fatherland. With love and strength and faith, love and strength and faith that the labor of our heroes must never be in vain. Oh, how I love to ease the pain, to see my brother soiling there. Them talk about say we are lazy, but 
Janos at them crazy. My youth man, them can't face me. The jackies will lighten the almighty. Take me back to the days when everything used to be nice and sweet. Can we go back to the days when I was in love and beauty? Take me to the days when we used to live in joy and by Oge o Kimono, all right? I was going to say another thing entirely, but then Oge Kimono. And you know, as they say, that the apple does not fall far from the, the tree. okay tree. <laughs> and that is it, it's a, a chip off the old block. And we are talking about the one and only Oge Kimono. And of course, the daughter of Raski Kimono. Kimono. Welcome yeah. to the show. Hey. Give us, give us. Please don't blow my whistle. <laughs> okay, so I wish I know some, you know, patois, uh, patois and then I can. No, we'll, we'll, we'll mix it up. We'll mix it up. We'll speak some English, and me I go chat some little patois too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wow. Wow. Can you hear the real patois, OJ? OJ, you feel that I've because never, you have dread. I've never formed that. I can actually speak patois. <laughs> Like, I was shocked some day. Somebody saw me on the road because my dress. Yeah, bedroom, bedroom. <laughs> I was like, my guy, my guy. I'm just carrying the dress, dude. <laughs> and then to the show. Like, now, amazing you. performance. Thank you. I, daughter of late um, Rasky Mono. Yeah, how does it feel? How was it like growing up with that legend himself? Uh, you know, it's funny because I did not really grow up with my dad. I grew up with my grandma, which was a good thing because um, it kept me outside the spotlight or out of the spotlight. So I had a, reg I had a normal like, childhood, like mm -hmm. every kid, you know. And um, I eventually met up with my dad at about 16, 17. Oh, you know, mm, yes, really? I. But uh, um, that is not to say that he was never he's in the picture. He yeah. always comes to visit, mm -hmm. you know. He's always come in to, to see me at home and all of that. But my grandma, she put her foot down and said, no, I don't want her to get exposed to that world yet. She needs to focus on her basic education, you know. Mm -hmm. And that was exactly what we did. What, what is wrong with the, that world that they were scared was, of you being exposed yeah. to? Um, the truth of the matter is entertainment, the entertainment scene, it's, it's not for young kids, you know. I mean, I was only an, uh, an infant and then eventually an adolescent and then eventually yeah. a teenager and, you know. <laughs> so you don't, so, um, you don't want to get carried away because the scene, it, I mean, our, the entertainment industry is very, very, um, what's the word now? It's very, very enticing, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, um, they saw, they saw, they saw that I already had the flair for music and entertainment. So, um, <laughs> so they had, yeah, they had to make sure that uh, you need to get the book right. So wait, this one is already in you. We see it. Where are we? But just, <laughs> you know. Okay, so, uh, there was, um, this paper I was reading or was it on the internet? Mm -hmm. And you said something like, you don't want to, you're not writing on your father's fame. Yeah, man. Like you're an individual and your father is another individual. Yes, sir. And True this that. is you. Okay, yeah. so I know that so many times because in fact, when I was introducing you, I was being careful because some people don't like it when maybe their sister, their father, their mother mm -hmm. has been in the same industry and every time you're linking them mm. to that person, that person how yeah. exactly do you feel and how do you even stand out as an individual? Um, you know, before my father's demise, it was a big challenge for me because, um, I mean, even before I added kimono to my name, you know, I had come out with a single where I came out as Oge, okay, yeah. you know, and it was an issue, you know, my dad picked offense, you know, and he said, oh, you think you cannot add, you should not add kimono to the name? I said, but you came out and you did your thing and you made a name. I want to make a name too, you know? So, um, it, uh, I mean, one of his friends had to call me from Ghana to convince me. I eventually added kimono to the name, you know, and um, ever since then, I mean, it, it, has been, it has been smooth, but back then when he was alive, I, I, I really did not fancy being 
called Oge Kimono, you know. But now that he's gone, I mean, I wear it with pride because, I mean, his legacy needs to continue, you know. It's not, uh, it's not me running away or shying away from it anymore. I have to embrace it in the, its mm. totality. You know, mm, so. Talking about his legacy, you know, continuing, mm -hmm. you performed um, one of your new songs from your new latest album, yes. Good Old Days. Yes. And, um, the keyboardist that played for you, Mike yes. Olo, yes. Olo yeah. was on your father's band. Exactly. So, yes. I mean, are you working with them it's this time around? Band. Like, are you? Yes. Um, um, I am so grateful to the Most High, you know, for blessing my father with the people he has on his band, his band, you know. And when he passed on, everybody said, oh, okay, we know you do music, so we're not going anywhere, we're here with oh. you, you know. And it is really, really a blessing. I mean, in as much as I already had my own band before um, my father passed on, you know, um, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really a privilege to still have to continue the journey with these people that have been on the journey with him with so him. far. You okay, know. let's talk about Beautiful. your father's big shoes, mm -hmm. feeling the shoes though. Mm. What comes to mind do you get scared sometimes or you're like okay maybe we'll take it one step at a time or something what what, what comes to mind when you think mm. of oh the legendary raskimono there's no shoes though. every man <laughs> has his shoes <laughs> every man everybody gets his shoe size mm. you know so um when people ask me I, I keep telling you i say there can only be one raskimono Oge Kimono can never be raskimono mm -hmm. what Oge Kimono can do is build on an existing platform so are you talking about filling what shoes? There's no shoes to fill. Mm. My nigga wore his shoes, he left his shoes. Mm -hmm. It's my time to wear my shoes, walk in it, and you know, pass it on to the next person. What we would continue doing is building on an already existing platform, platform. you know, so. Kimono's shoes is too large. Who's gonna wear it? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna wear it? <laughs> talking, okay, so, 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 talking about you doing your own thing right now, um, do you, when you listen, you were not based there before, now you're back and you're seeing this new set of guys that we have doing music yeah. right now. Who are those that you feel you can work with music-wise? Um, there are quite a number of um, original musicians because I, 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 I like originality, you know. I like people that um, don't sound like nobody else but sound like themselves, you know. And um, on the Good Old Days album, mm -hmm. I already did a collaboration or two collaborations, one with Jesse Jacks and the other one with Sound Soul Time. Sound Time. You know, and the um, reason being that these are people that are original and they understand the rudiment of music, mm. you know. Mm. It's, it's, um, <laughs> it's not the oh, let's do the digital thing, we'll put mm -hmm, up a bit, mm -hmm, and then we can mm -hmm. tweak it. And mm -hmm. I mean, computer has made everything so easy now, you know? I mean, everybody can be a producer. I know that thing you about Jesse Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, uh, thank you so much, Oge okay, Kimono, for coming thank on the you. show today. Thank we thank wish you. we could actually have more time to talk and talk with it, but then we'll, there would always be another day. Definitely. But thank you. So how Definitely. can people even get in touch with you? Um, to follow me, it's simple on Instagram. Follow me at Oge Kimono underscore official. Oge Kimono underscore official. And um, on Facebook is Oge Kimono, and on Twitter yeah. is Oge Kimono. You know, so I'm a surround on like surround system. Teach <laughs> 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 to You want to learn? What does that mean? Say you want to learn? What does that mean? Do you want Why do you look more? Okay, want to learn? Thank you so much. Well, it is still East Splash, and it continues to go on this break, and we will be back. Already. Honey parts, no delivery. I'm getting hey. jealous. Don't want to see you with anybody. I'm getting jealous. Already. Is that somebody you're friends with? <laughs> We'd like to know. Is that somebody uh, that you're that friends with? You're... Why are you sticking your necks out? We just want to know. That no, curious. I'm just singing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so we just checked out our selfie request. You guys know that you can send in your videos anytime from Monday to between Monday and Thursday so we can play for you on Friday. Yeah. So you have to post on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag eSplash on TVC and our handles are at TVC Connect. So, so what are you guys getting to this weekend? Have you done um, that face up challenge thing? No, like I'm not going to do that thing. I'm not going to do it. You're scared? No, we'll talk about it one day when we have time to talk about <laughs> it. But some people that download apps and do, do, they don't read the terms and conditions. That's you do everybody does it. Everybody don't. don't read terms and conditions. Well, speak for you yourself. Do? Yes, I do. It's long, I read. Yeah. Regardless. 
Did I, you read the terms and conditions yes, on your Instagram Yes, I did, post? on my own. Yes, and I forwarded it to a friend, I, I, and the friend forwarded it to the person that now posted it. How about that? Uh, so, yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Nice one. And that's right, so what do. are you doing this weekend? Um, I have an event tomorrow. Um, okay. Lion King. You are getting married? I have an event tomorrow. Wow. Like, I'm um, the exclusive screening of like Lion King. Like an introduction oh. between no. you and Bae? The exclusive screening okay. of Lion King. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So that's... just to ask. <laughs> Guys... <laughs> I don't know what. So what are you doing this weekend, OJ? Uh, just watching movies. Okay. Like I have a particular... Pirated ones? No, I have a No, that's platform that you watch and chill afterwards. Yeah, and I have a... coming? No, just... I love watching my movies alone. So I have this particular series that I'm watching. I've been binge watching on it. So okay. this weekend for movies. I believe that one, I you love watching your movies alone. But, you know, when you're done with the movies, I know that you like them to visit at that point. Okay, so what am I doing this weekend? I'm actually hanging out with my classmates at the uni, yeah. A so guy? Reunion. Yes, it's like a reunion. I didn't say a guy, I said at the uni. Ah! Uh, let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the real MVP. We tell you this every time because it's not because we just want to. We're actually saying you are the real MVP. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. From Mondays through to Fridays, your girl, Irie Kev with the dimples. And of course, my name is OJ. Be at peace with yourself. My name is Honey Potts. Mwah. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.